Hi, Trinity Baptist Church. Good morning to many of you. Uh, good evening to Laura and Shelley, I am told would be a more appropriate greeting based on when you usually watch these. There's a verse, well, there's a few verses in Philippians 2 that have been on my mind a lot in the last day. They've been on my mind for my own attitude, and I think they're worth passing on as all of us um, pause and turn to Scripture and reflect on our own attitudes. Uh, in the midst of all this, all this, by this point, I feel like you know what I mean by all this. This shut down this everything. Um, I've thought a lot about this verse from Philippians 2 this week, verses 14, 15, and 16. It says, Do all things without grumbling or disputing, that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding fast to the word of life, so that in the day of Christ I may be proud that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. Do all things without grumbling or disputing. I, I don't say this. I really don't say this because I feel like I receive grumbling. I say this because I recognize that I, I put out grumbling, that as we go about the world and we interact with our friends and neighbors, I catch myself grumbling a lot about where we are, about the year that that God has ordained for 2020. And uh, I think it's worth remembering that we have this blunt statement from Philippians 2 of something we all find hard to do, which is to do all things without grumbling or disputing. Thankfully, uh, Scripture gives us a very clear reason for this, that we might be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world. It is hard to do all things without grumbling at the moment. But I think it's true that if we make real progress toward that, we really will shine as lights uh, in the world, shine as lights in the midst of this generation. I think it will be striking to people more than at other times and uh, a good opportunity for us to testify to who Jesus Christ is, what he has done in our lives, and how much hope we have in him.